Estranged husband of missing Connecticut mom, Jennifer Dulos, is accused of lying in wait for his estranged wife before her presumed murder and transporting her body in her suburban, according to police. Yet he told Dateline NBC he thinks she's still alive. Do you believe Jennifer is alive? I do. Against all circumstantial evidence or common understanding of um, I'd like not to discuss this but uh, in your per mind my, per, in my, your per, mind? My, per my attorney's uh, advice so I think I understand should... but in your mind she's alive yes Fotis was released on a $500,000 bond the same day and will return to court on September 12th he has not yet entered a plea for the new charge the luxury home developer was arrested after his girl, Michelle Tricotas, age 44, who was arrested on the same charges Thursday, allegedly gave police incriminating information about both of them in connection to Jennifer's disappearance, according to arrest warrants released by the Connecticut State Police. Nulos, age 51, of Farmington, sat down with Dateline's NBC at his sprawling $4.3 million home before he was arrested on Wednesday for a second time on charge of tampering with or fabricating physical evidence in connection with the disappearance of Jennifer Dulos, who hasn't been seen since May 24th. The warrant states that Jennifer's blood was allegedly found in a truck Fotis drove the day Jennifer vanished. Asked about the truck, Michelle allegedly told investigators, You showed me the picture of the blood in the door. It's because the body of Jennifer at some point was in there. Back in June, the two were arrested on the same charges after a man matching Fotis' description was allegedly seen on surveillance video on the night Jennifer was reported missing, placing multiple garbage bags into various trash receptacles. Investigators allegedly found clothing and other items with Jennifer's blood on them. Michelle admitted to being in the truck with Fotis. Despite the detailed allegations laid out in the warrants, a smiling Fotis calmly maintained his innocence in his first national interview with Dateline NBC, which airs Monday at 10 p.m. During the interview at Fotis' home in upstate Connecticut, when NBC News' Dennis Murphy asked Fotis if he had anything to do with the disappearance of his wife, Fotis looks down for a second before replying, I did not, but I'd like to leave it at that. Asked to describe Jennifer as a mother, Fotis says she was a great mother. I think she was an excellent mother. Slightly changing course, he then says, and I hope that she continues to be an excellent mother. Noticing that Fotis used the present tense, Murphy asks, do you believe Jennifer is alive? Fotis looks away again for a split second before he says, I do. When Murphy brings up all the circumstantial evidence or common understanding of what investigators allegedly believe took place, Fotis shuts down. I'd like not to discuss this, he says. But in your mind, Murphy persists. Per my attorney's advice, Fotis responds. Murphy says, I understand, but in your mind, she's alive? Yes, says Fotis. In a statement to People magazine on Wednesday, Norm Pattis says it sounds like the state is trying to convince itself that Fotis is responsible for Jennifer's disappearance. When and if the state decides it can prove its case, we will welcome the chance to meet the case in open court. Michelle Traconis' attorney did not immediately respond to People's magazine's request for comment. Fotis and his gal pal Michelle entered a plea of not guilty to the initial charges of tampering with or fabricating fiscal evidence. They were each released on a $500,000 bond. The one-hour special titled The Disappearance of Jennifer Dulos includes interviews with Jennifer's family and friends as well as Fotis and his attorney Norm Pattis and it airs on Monday at 10 p.m. on NBC. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, leave me your thoughts and opinions below in the comment section. So, I noticed that Fotis said that Jennifer was a good mother. She was an excellent mother. He used the past tense, and then he kind of caught himself and said, I hope she continues to be. Um, but Fotis knows that she is gone because he murdered her. That is my opinion. And the truth always comes to light.